Paul, how good an away point is that, scoring late to, to go home with a 1-1 draw? Yeah, a bit. I, you know, I stood here right now, obviously pleased with the point. We'd, I think we'd have took that before the game, albeit, I'm not just saying this, generally that the message was we, came, we come here to try and win, not just to take a point or hang on. Um, and I think if you look at certainly what I've seen stats-wise and also the feel I had, I don't think they cause us too many problems, or I thought we'd cause them near enough as many. Um, but when we fell behind, obviously you, you, you're concerned in terms of how the rest of the game will pan out. But it seemed to actually spark us into wanting to play more, and that's, I guess it's a frustration, um, but pleasing as well. It, it, as in, I don't, it's hard to say for, for definite was that a great response from us was that them taking a backward step because they got themselves in front. But we started to pass the ball more and had a, a spell for a little while where we, it was good. Still think there's got to be more belief from his own players at times. Um, but even first off, I thought we had a couple of bits of play where the lads showed confidence to get on the ball and play. A couple of decent moves without maybe you know creating that clear cut chance, albeit we had a couple of efforts at goal. Um, but I think, like I say, overall, we've had as many attempts, as I think one less attempt overall, and as many on target. So, pleasing, I guess right at the death when they hit the post, or bar. I think it was a foul, but we weren't going to get it, so um, it was pleasing for that. I think overall, the effort, we deserved that point. Frustrating to concede from a corner? Yeah, I've just said for all, you know, how good a team they are in general and the players that they have, I think we did limit them um, quite considerably. And the goal, if that was turned out to be the winning goal, it would have been extremely hard to take and annoying because it's a basic... It's not something they've worked on, I believe, at least, anyway, from what I'm hearing. Um, and it's, it's soft, and it? you know, that's the best way to describe it. Marco nearly saved it, couldn't quite keep it out. Put it from a, a delivery that wasn't great, and uh, you know, a bird's got in front of his man and, and scored. So it was frustrating on that side, but a good response, like I said, from the players. Yeah, fantastic moment when the equaliser went in, 87 minutes on the clock. What about it? The, the run from, from Mel Benning, the finish from, from Aaron Pierre? Well, Mel's had a couple of runs. He had one first off, couldn't be a really good combination play with uh, Ships, and he had another one there, um, and just just needed that composure and he did it and said to uh, Aaron after like what, what are you doing I think that's great you know I used to see him if he's going to score it's a, usually a, a header powerful header uh, but as I said I think they deserve that and you look at other scores around because I do there's a hell of a long way to go but you look at scores I'm not going to deny that some I think managers pretend that they don't look uh, and some things haven't you know, maybe gone for us, but I'm sure they'll look at our result and think, well, surely Derby should win that game. Um, great to see the following fans as well. You know, another great away following and something to cheer about. I think they were wanting me to celebrate and I kind of said, look, we've drawn. And as much as I think it is a good point and I think they'd go home happy, you know, they'll celebrate win a bit more uh, than a point. But there's not much time now to recover. We've got a few knocks, certainly, it looks like. We'll see, assess them and see if they're ready for, for Tuesday. We've obviously got Tom Bloxham coming back from his, his uh, suspension. But a real, another really tough game against another informed team. Yeah, how is uh, Tanishi Shogawala? He, he was very good, I thought, today, coming into the team, but clearly in some discomfort when he had to go up. Yeah, look, T's a hard one, I think, from where he's sort of come from and I mean that respectfully and probably playing a bit of a different position but as seems I know he's played there as in before I came in you feel like I could really do with him on a remote control to get him in the positions that I want him but what he did offer at times was obviously a threat going forward he kind of got us up the pitch at times there's other times you kind of what air I've got think about pulling it out because he's not quite in the right position He's not doing it intentionally. We keep working, keep working to try and, you know, and he's not on his own, by the way, far from it. Uh, but in terms of getting in those good areas for us that will make us more solid, harder to play through. Uh, although, probably overall, we did that quite well today.
Jack Hinchy, first start for him since coming in on loan from, from Brighton. Happy with his contribution? Yeah, competed. It'll be a different game. And again, I think when we started to have more of the ball, he was kind of integral to that. And he started to you know, get on the ball and pass it. A couple of longer passes as well. He took a dead leg first half, so he was struggling a little bit. That's why he came off, nothing uh, performance related. Um, so again, he's another one that we'll have to look at and see how he is for, for Tuesday. Very good point. Thanks for your time, Paul. Thanks, Stuart.